So ladies and gentlemen, official, I'm starting the call. Are you guys ready? Give the drums. I wanna see those hot coming up. Yes, we're starting the call. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for phenomenal woman, powerful woman who I'm going to introduce to you in a minute. And I'm so honored to be part of her life. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yes, welcome everyone. Welcome all the way from Kenya, Win Winnipeg, Edmonton, Calgary, like the whole of Canada, you know, America, uh, uh, um, Philippines, Thailand, Indonesia, oh my God. So Africa, welcome all of you guys. I'm telling you today is a day Caribbean, all the Caribbean people welcome. Today, it's like uh, I'm taking somebody from all the way from Winnipeg, you know, and me from Africa, you know, and uh, I wanna honor my sister. My name is Mariam Adam, all the way from Toronto, Ontario. Joined this company 2006, guys, so we are pioneer. 2006, just imagine, when it used to be called Global Wealth Trade. I was honored. It is a breathtaking because when we see the jewelry, we love it and we just jump on it. We didn't know we we're gonna get an even bigger and better surprise up to today. So you just hold your horses, hold that breath in and let it relax and have your coffee to have a surprise of your life from the journey. I've been meeting wonderful people like Karen Henry, you know? Being in this company, I'm honored to introduce you one of amazing women in my life who I met her through the journal of Global Wealth Trade to Opulence Global. Karen Henry has many years of experience, I'm telling you guys, in sales for large cosmetic and fashion companies, but always earn, like looking for that freedom, you know? You know, when people thinking, thinking alike, because me, I love my freedom, guys, you know? She's been, um, love the, uh, you know, the fashion. You can look at her. Always when you see her, she's all is intact, okay? She's been in many companies, but always, you know, looking for that niche company, the right company, working for herself to have that freedom to travel the world because I love to travel. That's how we met because we love to travel the world and events and we met in the events. You'll know more, I don't wanna give all the juicy. She saw the vision to become the entrepreneur in her early twenties, guys, early twenties. Upon being introduced to the network distribution industry. So she had this dream way long ago and she's still looking twenties. You know, after building four large organization and earning very good income, Karen become frustrated with the industry as uh, each of those companies crumbling due to reason and another, you know, like keeping colonies down, but she never give up. Karen was introduced to global wealth trade. Now it's called Opulence Global in 2008, when it used to be global wealth trade. While living in Toronto, that's where I met her, and has never looked back. She recognized that long-term vision and stability the company provided and quickly started to build achieving. You know, when she said she just achieved and become our ambassador, now we call it the LD2, right? She just did. So you just wait and pay attention. The leadership status, the launch, she launched the Winnipeg, the awards, the cruise it has hundreds of people, over 700, you know, partners across the world, right? Um, I'm telling you, I can go on and on and on and on, you know? She's wearing and enjoying exactly luxury program while reaping all the benefit of the health product that are making different around the world and helping others. She never give up of anyone, you know? So finally, she find home, guys, and that is oh, GWG Opulence Club. So please 
help me, ladies and gentlemen, help me to welcome this phenomenal woman, Karen Henry, lifestyle director too, all the way in Winnipeg and get that juicy and have fun. That's what we are. Please help me. Welcome, Karen Henry. Well, Boy, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Miriam Adam. <laughs> I just love you. You know, that was a beautiful introduction. And um, I'm just blessed to be here. And I, I'm actually feeling very grateful that I was asked, we were asked to uh, to share this story because, you know, I've never actually in the whole entire time uh, with this company, I've never uh, done anything like this before and been, you know, kind of in the in the limelight here. So um, it makes you really think. It makes you really think about your journey and it makes you really reflect on how incredible this time with Opulence Global and of course, uh, ultimately and originally GWT and, and, you know, not take any of it for granted because it has really been probably the most exciting part of my life. I have to say that it really has. And I want to give kudos to you, Miriam, because you have been my inspiration right from the very beginning. Uh, I'll tell you, um, I'll get into a little bit of my history and how I ended up in Toronto in the first place. And thank goodness, you know, sometimes some of these, um, I guess, these challenges that we face in our life have silver linings. And uh, you're one of my silver linings. You uh, walked into a room when I was giving a presentation. I was uh, I was posted as a national director uh, of another company at that time. And you walked into the room and I was like, who is this bright, shining light of a woman? And uh, we just became super good friends since then. And luckily for me, you are a dynamo and you don't give up. You have this passion. And, you know, I, I always think of you as my butterfly because you're all over the place. You love your freedom. You love traveling. You love meeting new people. You are the master at meeting new people anywhere you go. And it's such an inspiration for me. And, you know, but a lot of people could assume that that might be a flighty spirit. And I'll tell you, you are nothing close to being a flighty spirit. You are determined. You're like a dog on a bone. And, you know, you never gave up on me. I almost missed this opportunity. And I can't even imagine how my life would have looked in the last decade or so. I've been with this company now 14 years. I can't imagine if I would have missed this, what would have been going on. Um, this has been, and still to this very day, I wake up excited to wake up. I wake up excited about what's going on. I wake up, you know, so I'm so grateful to you that you never gave up on me. And um, I kind of want to go back a little bit uh, in the history before I talk about this amazing journey that I've had with Opulence Global and all of the amazing people in it, because that's been a big part of my life, the, the relationships and the friendships and the, um, I, I can't imagine my life without these people. So it's, um, but going back to uh, what you kind of alluded to at the beginning, a little bit about my history. Back in my early 20s, I realized that I was probably somewhat unemployable. I just never wanted to be restricted. I didn't want, I wanted the freedom to work when I wanted to work with who I wanted to work with. And I always know, knew I needed to do my own thing. But like most people, and if somebody's new to this call, it's like, well, what do you do? Like, where do you, like, how do you, how do you create something of your own? And, uh, so I was just listening to a leadership call with John Buzzwood, and uh, I met John Buzzwood and Sherry at the um, uh, co product conference uh, in Toronto just recently. They're relatively new to this company, but I so related to them. They're such a beautiful couple, and they've had the kind of experience that 
I went through, um, you know, at the beginning of this, and it really made me think back to um, how somebody that is just joining this program now could not realize really, maybe, if they haven't had the experience in the industry that some of us had, that they maybe would just think that every company's like this and everything's like this. And it's like, no, it's not. So when I was listening to John and he was ta talking about, you know, his experience in the industry, it made me really reflect on my experience in the industry. And back in my 20s, I knew I wanted to start something. So I answered an ad in the paper, believe it or not. And uh, it was all about things that I loved. It was about, you know, image consulting and and fashion. And, and I thought, well, that's something I can get my head around because that's kind of been my experience. So I embarked on that journey, but it was a, like uh, John said, you know, I got bit by the network networking bug, but not all network marketing companies are created equal. This happened to be a direct sales model, which is a lot different with, than what opulence is. Opulence is far, far, far more advanced. And of course, um, we can talk about that in a minute. But anyway, I, I was gung-ho and I wanted to do my own thing. And, um, and my earrings are getting stuck to my pin. <laughs> anyway, um, so I embarked on that journey and I sponsored probably about 135 women into that business. And it wasn't a, it wasn't a cheap startup. And uh, it, there wasn't any training developed and there wasn't any promotional tools developed at that point. And so that all fell on me. And I became, I, I managed a couple of territories and I was responsible for all of that training and development. And um, that company, unlike our company, had some quotas that had to be maintained every month. And my quota to make my 4% commission on all of those people that I was managing and running and brought in and spent the money to develop was 4% on their wholesale profit. And they had to do 10,000 a month for me to get that. And I had to order $1,600 a month to be able to receive that 4% commission. And that was one of the only two commissions. There was one other little level. So that was my first experience with network marketing in the direct sales umbrella. Well, um, in that company, if you were down, they didn't give you any tracking. You couldn't really tell where you were at. And if you were down even $10 off that 10,000 in any one of the three consecutive months in a year, guess what they did? They pulled your title, which at that point it was a director, and they took all those clients direct. I almost couldn't get out of bed for a month when that happened. It was, it was, there was a couple of things. As we know in this industry, life gets in the way at times or certain things happen and, and we're hit with varying different economic things that happen to everyone. And so um, that was devastating. And it was my first kick at the cat. Thankfully, I did find another program and that was as networking was developing. And we're talking back in, you know, early 90s, maybe even late 80s. Don't want to date myself here. But uh, there started to be some developments in the compensation area. And I got involved in one of the first binary systems, which is, of course, what Opulence has now, but has taken it to a whole new level than it was back then. And so I started uh, working with a, a couple of companies. Again, uh, the, the next company that I was with, the owners, the leadership, uh, when I was listening to John Buzzwiz, I just want to go back and, and his uh, leadership call. He talked a lot about the five things that he looked for in a company. And I could so relate to that because in each one of these companies that I progressed to, there was flaws in either one of those five things or multiple five things. And the five things that he was looking for is uh, the corporate team, their vision and their commitment, the product, the compensation plan, whether it's fair and achievable and equitable. He was looking for an international company back then. They didn't have the technology to be an international company um, and timing. And so 
uh, when I started this next co company, uh, they had the binary system, but they didn't have um, the leadership. They didn't have, they didn't, hadn't checked all the T's and crossed all the I, crossed the T's and dotted the I's. And so they ran into trouble. So I had built a, quite a large organization, made some very, very good money, but we end up, we ended up in regulatory issues. So that was my next experience. Devastated after that, um, that was about a four year um, endeavor. So a lot of people had uh, joined my organization. And like John said, you know, your integrity is everything. And when you bring somebody to an organization or a company, you want to make sure you do your best to make sure it's going to be there and solid as a rock for them. So the next company that I joined, um, the owner died. And so the board of directors changed the compensation. So again, that compensation was a problem. And then uh, the last thing that I ended up in took me to Toronto, which was my blessing in disguise. Because even though I took on that post of leadership and, and uh, launched that company with them, it was a new launch. And that's how I met you, Miriam. Uh, the integrity again of the leadership was not there. And so ultimately I found myself in Toronto after a huge commitment and a huge commitment to move to that city to take on that post. And then lo and behold, the corporate team was not there. So, but I met you, Miriam, through all of that. And, and luckily you saw our friendship as valuable enough to introduce me to at that time, GWT. And you took me uh, to the office. It was the first little office and was adorable. And all the gorgeous stuff was there. And, and that was at the time of um, Ferry Mosh. And, uh, and I was able to meet some of the leaders. Um, uh, Renee Liao, every time I went to that office in the, in the years to come, Renee was there and he was on the board and he was, he was there all the time. <laughs> It was like, so I got to see him. Uh, if anybody thinks that it just success just fell in his lap, it's absolutely not the truth because he was dedicated and there and building. But um, going back to actually before I got to that first office, I, I forget, I was invited to the very first meeting by you, Miriam, and I met uh, the corporate team then um, that was just getting started. And as we know, it was a concept and it was it was in Ramin's vision and, and brain that that, you know, you just had to kind of try to capture that. At the time, I wasn't quite ready, but you never gave up on me. And so through a couple of more um, office visits as the company evolved, um, I caught the vision and finally got started. So i um, grateful to you, Miriam, for never giving up on me. You used to say to me, Karen, you are this business. Like you're just, everything about you is this business. And, and of course, at that point in time, we were fashion. And my, my love is fashion. Um, I was mesmerized by the products that we had, even just in the fashion line. And I, I knew the quality of them. So when I got started, actually, Again, this is something for new people that are on the line to understand. I think it was like close to four or five thousand dollars at the time that, uh, that we started back then. And of course, that gave me a lot of beautiful products, uh, which was great. Um, but again, um, it was, you know, it was a stretch. You had to make a commitment and then really make a commitment to work the business. But I've never looked back since I started, um, hit the ground running. Like you said, um, really uh, developed into leadership very quickly. Um, and I'll never forget uh, meeting Ramin and Sanaz, of course, at their home. Uh, that I knew, you know, the, the vision, the, the commitment, the energy, the uh, fun, uh, just was all there. Uh, but the first conference that we attended in Niagara Falls, Wow. It, uh, if anybody is just new to this company, whatever you do, never, ever, ever miss a conference. It was 
like I was sitting there getting goosies, just listening to Ramin and his story and what he went through in the industry and how he was going to change that for people. And he was going to eliminate all those blocks and all those loopholes and all those ways that companies, you know, with the quotas and having to do this before you can earn this and having to do this monthly before you can earn this. And ah, and he just, he just said, I'm doing this. I'm making this a difference in this industry. This industry is an amazing industry. And it's, I just got to take this pin off because my earrings keep sticking to it. Um, anyway, um, and so when I heard Ramin upfront and, and personal and realized uh, his heart and his intention, I thought, this is, this is it. This is it. This is my last. This is my forever company, as John Buzzwood would say. This is my forever company. And and it's just been that way ever since. So um, we 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 actually launched Fairy Mosh at that time, and we had the police in the lobby, and we had all this gorgeous jewelry, and you know, walking around with briefcases full of beautiful jewels, and it was just so exciting. Any conference, I've never missed a conference, um, and every conference. I can't even believe the pricing that they charge for a conference because it's always way over the top. Um, so then after that, I did earn the cruise. And I know that there's an Asian cruise coming up and a, and a um, North American cruise coming up. Whatever you need to do, qualify for it and get on it because they treat you like royalty. It was and such an amazing time to be sitting at the hot tub or sitting by the pool at night by the, with the lights and sitting talking to the CEO or talking to Sanaz, or talking to Aki and, you know, just a ro um, um, uh, Roman and uh, Renee and Reza and all the top leaders and uh, just having that experience of being able to share their stories in this unbelievable atmosphere with the stars out and the lights of the ship and everybody dresses and goes to dinner and has this most amazing time. It was just, and then the private meetings, the dancing together, the eating together. It was just the, the cruise, I'll never forget it. It's etched in my mind. I'll never forget that experience. And um, uh, it was just, yeah, mind blowing. So the cruise is a must for anybody that is now just joining us. You have an opportunity to experience this company uh, like never before. And that's another thing about, about opulence is they're just, they just want to make it fun. They just want to connect. They just want to support and help you. And all the leaders, Sherry Zhao, she, oh my gosh, we went on to a, a, an island little uh, retreat and we went to this amazing water park and I didn't want to go up the slide. It was like the highest thing ever. And you go on these little tubes and you go shooting down this slide. Well, she got behind me, the little thing that she is. And she's like, nope, you're going. <laughs> and so off we went. It was like we were hydroplaning down the down the slide. It was the most incredible and landing in a shark tank. So um, she is a firecracker and so much fun and just an inspiration for all of us women in the industry to 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 really see how a woman can take this and bust every glass ceiling off the charts and uh, earn incredible incomes. And she's so much fun that it's just uh, amazing. So I'm going on and on and on, and I, I get excited when I talk about this, obviously. So if you need to ask me any questions, just please interrupt me <laughs> because, because I get excited. Um, again, you're doing you know, just fine, you know, like you're touching many aspects of your life, which is, uh, you know, the excitement, the cruise, the inspiration. Oh. You inspire me until my tears, 
exactly. <laughs> to drop. I'm just like, you know, oh my God, you, you take me to the memory line, you know? I know. So, and you know, even all the other leadership conferences that I've been privileged to be a part of, I mean, they took us up to the Muskokas and treated us like, royalty up there and and we had this think tank and you know that's a beautiful thing about uh the corporate leadership uh, sanaz and ramin they always want feedback they and they listen and they do it and that's why you know i can tell you honestly it's i was at the last conference uh the product conference and somebody said we were sitting around the breakfast and we had the privilege of being um, in the breakfast with corporate. It was an amazing breakfast. They make you all this stuff. You know, you go up and you and you sit there and you listen to people's stories that are in leadership. And one person, it really struck me. They said, you guys, Ramin and Sanaz, are like our parents. Like, and I thought about that comment. And I thought, you know, it is so true that when I know when corporate says that they are going to do something, they not only do it, but they surpass what they said they were going to do in the first place. So you always feel that trust and that stability and that knowing that they're going to have your back and they're going to do what you're, they say they're going to do. And it's always, if they do change, it's always metamorphosizing into something better. And so I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they work the kind of hours they work, but I'm really grateful that they do because it gives us um, in the field um, just such a huge opportunity to build from on a regular basis. And there's always something new and exciting to think about. And they're always giving us something to work with that's fresh and exciting. Honestly, this has been the most exciting time in my life. And um but getting back to the, the up in the Muskokas, you know, um, we had our own private little villas and we were invited to, a, um, you know, a big think tank. And and then I don't even know what year it was. I'm kind of getting all my years blending into one because it has been a very long journey. But we had this amazing, amazing dinner that we were invited to as leaders in the uh, tower, in the uh, Toronto Tower, in this gorgeous gorgeous restaurant with views of Toronto and we were taken there in these fancy limo buses with this music and the lights and the champagne and I don't even know what that would have cost the company but it was like full-on absolutely fantastic beautiful dinner uh, as a reward for something I can't even remember what we did but um you know, it just is over and over and over again. Too Some many of my incentive. people, too many incentive. Very well. It's yes. not too many. I do. But we I'll can't count. You. Yes, I know. I get them mixed up with what year it was. But you know, the the thing is, is that it's always something, and it's always new. And so, if you're brand new in this platform, you know, you've got something to shoot for, something to shoot for, and you can experience those things. I mean, I will never stop experiencing those things because I will just reach for them because I know that it's like over the top, over the top. So anyway, um, let's go back to, oh. I remember it was 2014. Yes. And um, again, we went together on um, Las Vegas, you know, as a team. Uh, yes. And we opened Las Vegas. Yes, so there's many, many, many things to share. <laughs> yes, not, and that wasn't a corporate thing. That was actually initiated Our by self, you, Miriam. Yeah. You got us, you got us on the red carpet down there, and and we had just this most amazing trip and amazing experience. And of course, anybody that doesn't know, you know, when you do travel with opulence, whether it's a new market that you're launching or whether it's an event that you're going down to you know, that's all a part of building your business. So of course you're traveling with um, after tax dollars than instead of, be sorry, before tax dollars instead of after tax dollars. So um, you're, you know, a lot of your trips, it's a benefit for you to travel with this company and, and to launch new markets. And so we were down in LA, Miriam, and, and it was just such a beautiful experience. I've had many, many, many trips and fun things with my team 
and uh, as a team, not just only corporate travel and corporate events that we've done. I'll go back a little bit um, to when we first met Miriam and I got started. Uh, and then um, there was a point in time I built in Toronto. Then there was a point in time where I needed to come back to Winnipeg. Um, my mother was aging. And of course, we know as opulence, family is very important and it takes precedence. So I came back uh, to be closer to my mom and my sister. And uh, uh, actually, my sister got involved in the business at that point, and uh, she positioned herself. We call it positioning herself. And, you know, we look in her back office now. So, something's very similar that happened to Reza when he wasn't ready to get started right away in the, in the company, but he was smart enough to position himself uh, early on in the company. And unlike other companies, that volume has just been saving and building and, and developing. And so now um, my sister and I are going to embark on her journey to build her organization and she will benefit from all of that volume that has been saved because she just did that simple thing of using the product herself, putting her money aside every month and it just held all the volume from what was building into Winnipeg and beyond as I was on my journey. So that is all being saved for her and she's she's excited to get started on her journey with the company as well. And she knows the products are amazing and loves them. But I do wanna speak about Winnipeg because Winnipeg is my heart, uh, obviously it's my hometown. Uh, when I came back to Winnipeg, I, uh, I put on a VIP event and I had about 75 people show up. I did the decorations and, and uh, one of the leaders came into uh, town to help me with that. And uh, we just had a, a beautiful, it was, um, it was a really beautifully decorated, beautiful, special um, leadership event. And actually Kelly, a good friend of mine who I knew prior to Opulence Global, just out of the blue called me early that morning and said, what are you doing tonight? And I said, well, actually I'm putting on an event. Why don't you come down? So she came down and, uh, and it, long story short, she was wanting to develop a business to bring a business from Brazil uh, to Winnipeg, but had found that there was a lot of challenges. There was a lot of legal issues. There was a lot of expense going on. So when she saw this opportunity, it was the perfect opportunity for her to take a business here and take it back to Brazil. So she joined, I believe, at two o'clock in the morning that night. We were doing her paperwork and uh, and got started. And then it a, a, a number of people enrolled through that event, some amazing people. Um, and, uh, and, and then my team from Winnipeg uh, developed. I met people like Cheryl Lynn and Dan and Lorraine and, oh my gosh, Mary and, um, oh, I'm going to forget people. I know it. Um, just that are now still with us today, which is a testament that this is not a short-term business. They caught the vision early. I should go back and talk about my Toronto people, my 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 Courtney, my brother from another mother. I can't forget my Courtney because he was with us from the beginning. I think he's probably on this call today. Uh, just a trooper, a true professional. He's uh, on. Just, pardon? He's on on the call. Oh, is he okay? Yeah. Oh, Courtney, my brother from another mother. Uh, you know, just a, a incredibly talented guy and. Um, a true, uh, became a true, one of my true first friends that I met in uh, Toronto, actually, and we're still together today in this company. So it's become far more than a business to me. It is, it's totally my life. It's my lifestyle. And when they talk about the opulence lifestyle, this is what they're talking about, the friendships, the community, uh, the support that I've gotten from the tremendous leaders that are always there for you. And then of course, the new people that I continue to keep meeting and it just keeps everything so exciting and so fresh. And, um, and I'm so excited for everybody that is new because that you've landed now, you're not going to go through the metamorphosis 
that we needed to go through to get to where we are today with the offering that is just unprecedented. It doesn't exist out there in the in the world. So you've landed in the right place. If you're questioning that at all in your mind, you don't have to look any further. Just dig in, become a sponge, understand what you're really sitting on and take it seriously because it can be your retirement. This is my retirement. I'm not going anywhere. My people aren't going anywhere. We do this together. We're, we're a partnership together. I know I'm forgetting people. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited. Uh, it'll come to me. But um, anyway, uh, so uh, what else would you like to know? <laughs> oh, I forgot. I forgot. I'm sorry. I, I have to make a shout out to um, Angel. And Jill came in from that very first meeting and Lori Johnson and Joanne and, and these women are powerhouses uh, uh, as well as the previous women that I've mentioned. And, you know, uh, we had so much fun doing presentations and meetings at Angel's beautiful home. And now she's out in Victoria and uh, has been a massive product of the product. I'll tell you, that girl, I don't even think she could go on and find anything yet that she doesn't have. <laughs> so, yeah. um, you know, it's the people. I was there too when uh, we did an event, uh, when we came to launch the Winnipeg. We, yes. we, we invited that. Yeah, I was there. I was. Yes, Miriam, you've been so instrumental all the way through, all the way through in all our trips and with all our team and our conference calls and Oh my goodness, it's just been, um, I know I'm forgetting things, I, I apologize, but... Um, Don't worry, it'll come, it'll come. We, we yes. still, you know, it's, we a long, really... it's a long time to think about, 14 years. Long family journey, you know, like uh, we, we are still uh, traveling with the Opulence Global and it's for life, you know, so you're still here. So tell us why... GWT and Opulence Global, why up to now you are still with Opulence Global? Why? Well, I think that's a very there's, there is a number of reasons. Um, and a lot of them are what John Buzzwood was talking about, of having those factors in. I mean, the love of the people and the admiration that I have for the corporate team and the trust that I have in them is one of the big factors i would never want to go anywhere else i couldn't i couldn't even imagine how boring it might be because <laughs> it would never be as exciting as this but um but there are some business factors that are very important to um take into consideration if somebody's on the line and they're maybe with another network or or have have lost faith in the network distribution industry in general, it happens because there are so many opportunities out there that just fall short. Um, and so mentioning the factors that are really important um, is very important. Um, number one, uh, the vision of the company, and we've talked about that, the corporate team and the rock solid commitment and the, and the goal of where we're going, one team, one dream to the billion is, is such a bigger entity than ourselves. And people can really rally around that and look at this business as a long-term business. This is willable to your children and to and leaving a legacy. And I will not go to my grave without totally accomplishing whatever it is that I set out to accomplish with this company because it affects by you accomplishing what you wanna do, you're affecting so many people's lives. and. And changing them and you know so so that vision and that dream is mine that I hold with the company uh, and I know we're going to do it and I know they're going to do it because they've proven over and over and over again to myself and everyone on this line that they are in for the long haul they are committed they go above and beyond and that is something that I know I will never find anywhere else period the end Secondly, um, our product offering is just continuing to amaze me and my own experience on the product, my own self testimonials of what it's done for me. I feel younger now than I did in my 50s. And, you know, so 
Um, and I can't wait for the new products like the phytoclinical and it's just, and, and the training, like John Buzzwood said, you know, it's right there in our back office. They provide total, when we talk about a turnkey drop ship model, we truly are turnkey drop ship. Like everything that you need to succeed in this business is loaded for you in your back office. All you have to do is open your heart, open your mind and get in there, dig in and commit. Sec thirdly, um, the compensation plan. It is, and uh, John said, I hope I'm not, I hope he's not minding me <laughs> talking about him, but it was so uh, on fire. You know, so it's okay. The compensation plan, you know, being achievable and being, uh, you know, realistic for people and giving people money right up front as quickly as, you know, whatever. And, and, and the, um, the regulatory that this company has <laughs> to create and do for us to be able to move into the kind of country base that we have. Are you kidding me? Imagine the legal, imagine the regulatory issues of getting these products into all these different countries. And the fact that they've done that for us is just mind blowing to me. And then of course, um, the timing, I believe that um, now with what's gone on with the pandemic, and I think a lot of people are waking up to realize that they cannot rely on what they used to be doing when they used to be doing it in the 90s. Times have changed people. People are um, realizing that the jobs that they thought were absolutely solid, dissipated, or people that they knew their jobs were gone, uh, you know, they got laid off. They did if they didn't comply to different things. It was a real reality check, I think, for people. And that has been. I know you're going to ask me probably the question of what has been the biggest obstacle that I've faced in building oh, this company. You. Okay, I know you're probably going to ask me that, so I'm just going to tell it to you right now. Let's grab it. It's the, okay. Go ahead. The biggest obstacle is helping people to realize that this industry is. Number one, the industry, the infrastructure of what we have is, is moving billions of dollars worth of product. They think, you know, I think a lot of people say, oh, well, what if people ask me if it's like an Amway or, or you know, or, and I shouldn't mention any names of any companies, but, you know, it's helping people understand that this is the last bastion of free enterprise for the average person to create significant wealth if they have the will to do it. And because we've got the system, we know it, but it's it's helping them understand that this is a real deal. And if they put the same effort into this that they would put into a career, a job, this is a profession. And if you treat it like a profession and behave like a professional, it will pay you like a professional. And so I think that's been my biggest challenge is people, they get involved, but they don't take it seriously. They think, oh, that's just this little thing that I'm going to do part time on the side. People, you've got this thing that you can create whatever you want with, and it's all there for you. So for me, I get a little frustrated just at times, but I understand. And I understand why, because the industry early on, got a bad reputation, I think, from some of those challenges that we talked about earlier and some of the challenges that John has been through and that I've been through and I know Ramin has been through and I'm sure Renee has been through and, and a, a number of the other leaders. So sometimes uh, people don't even want to try again, but try again, because now you've found this, we've arrived, we've arrived, this is it. So, um, and then again, like I said, the timing, um, people now, I think in general, that would have maybe never looked at an alternative stream of income or never looked at having a home-based business, the times are changing that people are moving towards needing that home-based business, needing that secondary third income with what's going on in the economy. So I think, um, you know, 
our timing couldn't be better right now from even just out to the general public, never mind in the network marketing arena. So um, yeah, that, that's my thoughts on that. That's why I'm here. <laughs> uh, you're on mute, Miriam. You're muted. You're muted. Oh, there you wow, are. Wow, 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 wow. I'm just too, too excited, you know, and uh, you've been, I, I, I'm trying to ask you a question, but all the question you've been the obstacle why and is it you think this is it and you already answer even before even i ask you the question so i'm gonna leave the floor to all our partner and guests in the call what do you guys think today you know and i have uh, our prophet daniel all the way um in toronto original from ghana asking you a question what do you think um this business for africa you know, and when, uh, what is your plan, you as Karen Henry? Because I know you already been told me you want to go to Tanzania. Now you get uh, welcome to East and West Africa. So let's do it. <laughs> that I, I always say she's my sister from another mother. She just have the white skin, but she's a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, you know, I don't see, uh, any difference in all of us because you know what we're we're all god's creations and uh we're all connected and yes. this company brings it out more than anything i've experienced because of the heart of the company and and because of the soul of the company and so you know uh when we join forces we join in one union and i truly 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 um am grateful for that but to, to answer Prophet Daniel, let's do it. Bring it on. Let's, you know, I have a lot of um, uh, African brothers and sisters already. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I really feel that there is such um, an energy that comes from that culture and that, and that uh, group of individuals. They just have such a spirit and such a, uh, they they don't rely on systems. They they just are doers, and they they connect, and they care about their people. And and number one, they look fantastic. <laughs> they dress to the nines. <laughs> they love fashion. You know, you 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 do. They walk in the room, and you feel this presence and this energy. And and I just think this is the perfect vehicle for them. And I think the timing couldn't be better. So. Let's get on a let's get on our horses and let's get uh, let's get rocking all over the world. I mean, Africa is um, uncharted territories, but we have so many uncharted territories. Any or any place that you can think of, like John Buzzwood said, pick a globe and shoot and think about where you want to be. Where do you want to be in ten years? Where do you want to retire? Where do you want to? Where do you want, what do you want to experience? What do you want to grow into? And then just pick it and do it because we have the systems that'll take you there. So, but thank you for that question. Um, uh, Prophet Daniel is very dear to my heart. And I know we're going to do some very, very uh, big things, big things together and affect a lot of people that need it in those countries. Thank you very much, Karen Henry. Oh my God, it is uh, an inspiration. Is that so? Uh, now the floor is open. People can raise um, their hand and see if they want to ask a live question to Karen. We, you know, we have a few minutes, um, like another 10 minutes extra. And I'm leaving the floor for you guys to ask the question. At least you have here. Our um, movers and shakers. I would love to hear from some of the people on my direct team, my immediate team, if you'd like to share or, uh, you know, <laughs> want to speak up. Let's, uh, yeah. you all know who you are and, and you're all very dear to both of us. So um, we'd love to hear a little something from you if you'd like to, to uh, un unmute yourselves or I don't know whether, um, ra maybe raise your hand. I think that's how that works works yes definitely i already have some people raise their hand let me just uh give them a betty yeah go ahead betty 
Oh, thank you so much, Karen, for such an inspiring sharing. <laughs> uh, I was just uh, in the morning, so I cannot <coughs> release my face right now because I haven't washed my face yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's honest. <laughs> I've been there and done that. But, sure. Yeah. And I was so amazed that so many years you're still like a newcomer, you know? Oh, um, yeah. yeah. So I would like to ask you, what do you do daily? Well, I do follow um, the daily method of operation. And uh, I am a big proponent for uh, the forensic networking training. So if have you had a chance to um, peruse around that in your back office yet? Yes, yes. I, I attend the first, actually the first one, because I'm a new, I'm, I'm, a, I'm just about one month. <clears throat> oh my so, gosh, Betty, yeah. good for you. And, Can uh, you just I share? So and my, I'm so impressed. So I'm determined to attend every time oh fantastic listen can, can you tell us just a little bit about where you are from and why you joined opulence in the first place this is so excellent you're you're only a month old i love it <laughs> yeah 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 okay uh i originally came from china 33 years ago i loved number 369 because i'm also the energy healer so i know the power um, 30 years ago, I, um, you know, came from China to U.S. And uh, because I have been in the field like international relations, so I want to be a diplomat, okay? <laughs> and uh, all this, I got my Fulbright scholarship, which is U.S. government gave to the distinguished scholars overseas. And then I got to Cornell University and I also learned public relations and the pu public affairs. Excellent. And then, then my mom passed away because of uh, high blood pressure. And my dad passed away about um, diabetes. All the organs are failed at the end. So when I took four months off, even as a senior study director for over 10 years, when I come back, I lost my job. And then also I have my very dear friend who was my uh, elementary school classmate and he passed away on his 50th birthday. So all this happened and I think to myself, what was the point to be a um, educator in classroom or researcher on paper? I determined to make a change. I want to change from the educator in classroom, um, research on paper, I want to be the educator in life. So that was 10 years ago, I started to search all the companies and they claim from, you know, the uh, whatever change life or health, right? So I want to find a place that have help me to realize my dream. My dream is to inspire and empower people to be healthy and to be wealthy so that they can be a master of their own lives. Wow. So that's how, that's how I explore. I start from the market America. I start from, I, I don't want to name many, but I'll, I tell you, tons of companies. Okay. I, until two months, uh, a month ago, I was so depressed because I couldn't find any after 10 years of searching. And then huh, that's God's plan. And I went to Toronto um, uh, in September and for another company, I really want to test it, examine it. Fortunately, I met a person who I trusted, uh, who has 30 years experience in Chinese medicine and I also is a natural, natural healer, okay? So she told me something I thought it's very interesting. I never, never seen for my over 10 years 
see some product, no processing, no preserve, no actives. You know, all this is really something from God. And I know about this because I'm a researcher. I went to pubmed.gov, I searched lignin. Okay, that's 13,000 papers on lignin. Okay, and I also search lignin and cancer. That make me understand why I heard so many, so many stories, testimonies about the lignin and the cancer and surprised stories, testimonies, and which only one, less than one month, I probably spent one week, I heard all the testimony far beyond over my 10 years for any company. Okay. Wow. So, I said that this is it, you know, and I attend the conference. I'm so lucky to have the attend a uh, convention, which I heard that I've never been doing this in the past three years. I was so lucky. And I saw so many people, especially so many people from Africa. And I feel like I become a diplomat again. <laughs> you know? Isn't that so something? Bless you. Yeah. So no, no, I can tell you, I just did, did the recording and I tell you, I already built a strong, even though very few people yet, strong team from Africa. God bless. Bravo. Yes. yes. Awesome. Well, yeah. kudos so, to you. We're, and we're looking forward to meet you again. Uh, yes, Betty, thank sure. you very much for sharing, uh, you know. I'm telling you, we can sit here until tomorrow. Everybody has beautiful sharing, inspirational story. So now we're gonna uh, go to Levy. Go ahead, Levy, and then next Kelly. Okay, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Thank you, Betty, for sharing. Thank you for having me. Um, yes, that's a wonderful, wonderful testimonial uh, from uh, uh, Karen. And uh, I mean, everything she said made me like um, rephrase the song for Bob Dylan. I don't know if you know the song from Bob Dylan, uh, the time they are changing. And uh, I mean, I have the, the welcome in my mind. Like, I mean, I can speak to you right now. It says come together around people wherever you roam and admit that the waters around you have grown and accept it that soon you will be drench to the bone if your time to you is worth saving then you better start swimming or you will sink like a stone for the time they are changing so your testimony will definitely touch me right on because you have been swimming and you decided to swim very early and now we see that the water definitely have grown around compared to the time you started and uh, I mean, it definitely led you to this point and you are a, a, a life testimonial for us to, you know, to push forward. So my question would be, uh, what's, what's your uh, motivation? What's, uh, what's drive you uh, the most and how do you uh, keep, I mean, maintain yourself being consistent with the business when, when sometimes you don't feel like getting to the water or swimming? but you have to swim because the time is changing. Yes, absolutely. You know, that's a really good question. And thank you for that. And thank you for that analogy. That was really, that was really cool. Um, actually, you know, over the course of 14 years, you have those, you have those moments where, you know, you just don't, you know, you're not feeling good or you're just whatever. Um, but I think just in general, my drive is always, it's my people. I mean, um, my team have become my family, my friends, my my inspiration. And so when I need inspiration, I go to them because I wouldn't be where I am right now without them. And and we always kind of back and forth inspire each other. So I think don't try to do this completely on your own. Reach to the people, you know, um, if you are feeling a little bit like deflated or a little bit, um, you know, just maybe a little discouraged with something that's happened, make sure, don't just move away, move in and look for that guidance from somebody either cross line, up line, you're my five, 
you know, all of these leaders that I've ever reached out to are so helpful and they're just so inspiring. And you'll, you'll just, you just fill yourself back up again. Uh, don't try to deplete, 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 and then have nothing to give. Because this business really is about sharing and about giving and about caring enough beyond yourself to make sure that you let people know about this. It, it is our obligation. I mean, uh, look at Betty, who just said, you know, she was depressed. She's been looking for something for 10 years. Those people are out there. Thank God she bumped in or however she ran into this person that she trusted. And that person cared about her enough to, to share. So even if you're not, you know, go back to forensic, go back because forensic is our, our model. It'll help keep you on track. But if you need that inspiration, like that's the daily business, you know, day in, day out business model of, of how to do that daily action. But if you need that inspiration, reach to the people that can help you the most, which are the people that have been in this business. They've gone through those. You know, Ramin talks about it, the peaks and the valleys. And sometimes when we're down there, we can't see the next peak. So we have to try to, when we're going into those dips, reach out, let people know you're feeling that way and they will help you get through it. And then before you know it, like somebody said, I was on a call Listening to the conference calls is every week is really your, it's like your juice. You know, it's like your gasoline for your car. It just pumps Ooh. you at the beginning of the week. And, and no matter whether you've heard it before or not, there's always a tidbit. There's always a bit of inspiration. There may be somebody's story that just inspires you and keeps you going. Um, but, uh, you know, it's um, it's really important to, Stay connected. Don't move away. Step in when you're feeling um, like you're being challenged because you will be challenged through this whole. That's the difference between a Renee and Reza and, and Sherry and, and Ronan and, and um, all of our major, major. Um, and I know I'm forgetting people, but I'm just this is what's coming. Um, that's the difference. They didn't they didn't lose it. They didn't. Um, give up too soon before they reach that next peak that they needed to get to. One person can change your whole world. Sure. One person that gets the vision with this and runs and opens a new country or can change your world tomorrow. We just don't see it sometimes when we get into the darkness. So try to spread the light as much as you can and pull the light in when you need it. Definitely. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. That was very, very right on. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure I do that and I'll put that in practice. Thank you very much, Karen. Oh, thank you, Levy. Thanks for your input. Thank you, Levy. Uh, okay, Kelly, it's your turn. Oh, Good. Kelly, 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 Kelly. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It is so amazing to hear your story, Karen and Miriam, because I know the whole story. I've heard several times and every time is inspiring and inspiring. Uh, for me, it was a challenge to start. As you said, I started at 2 a.m. So to convince me was not easy. Um, I was a tough cook because of fear, not because I didn't believe in the business. I was concerned about what people would talk about it. I knew my family was would be completely against it, which they were. So. I know that lots of people will face that kind of a resistance and it's not easy. So um, as Karen just mentioned right now, the journey, it's a long journey. We have the peaks and the valleys and all that. And it was phenomenal to find the support. So I don't have a, a question for Karen because she and I, we are in touch all the time. When I'm down or she's down or what have you, we start talking and our conversations is never a five minute. So sometimes we avoid talking to each other because we, <laughs> we're gonna be on the phone for a long time because we do inspire each other. We do look forward to the future, what we are doing, how we are doing. Like last night, we are on a phone call. I start talking to someone, by the chance we connect to Karen, we are all the three of us, we are doing business like late at night on a Saturday night. 
So the business for us doesn't have time, doesn't have hours, doesn't have days, doesn't have holidays. We are on whenever it's available, whenever we can. And Miriam as well. We just don't reach so much to Miriam because Miriam is a butterfly. She's always busy, busy, busy. So to talk, it's a little complicated to get her on the phone. And I guess the proximity and the location, because we are so close with Karen, she and I, well, we have a phenomenal friendship. We, we were friends before business partners. So this is the thing that I feel with everyone. And I have reached out to so many people in my journey. Karen, Ronan, Miriam, Renee, Sherry, uh, you know, uh, staff. So it's not because people are not in your team that we don't reach out. So this is the business and so forth. And Karen, it was extremely inspiring. Your energy, your goal and everything continues to inspire me every day. And I do thank you. Eternal gratitude to Miriam to have sponsored Karen, to Karen to have sponsored me and to everyone that I have ever met through Opulence, to WT and Opulence now, and to our team, because our leaders, meeting, uh, meeting uh, Ramin, Sanas, having this reach, having the reach to everyone at corporate team, Daniela, and everybody, again, we are not mentioning every name, but you all know that you are special, and I have eternal gratitude for each and every one of you. So all I can say is let's move forward and use this inspiration to reignite each and every one of us. Thank you thank so you much, Kelly. Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah you. I, I, I remember you are a tough cookie, you know, but uh, we managed <laughs> to, to be hang out after today. So it means uh, we did something good and you did something great too. So it's of a teamwork, course. make the dream work. You know, at the end of the day, Brazil, here we come. Winnipeg is back in action. Yeah, you know? actually, I'm very proud of Kelly. Kelly has achieved um, LD1 and, and she's, um, you know, she's uh, always been, always been there. She's a beautiful, beautiful woman. She's not on camera right now. I think maybe it's too early. <laughs> But uh, and, and as a product of the product, stunning, stunning, stunning uh, dress always and, and stunning jewelry and and really, um, you know, has really been such a significant part of my journey. And I'm so grateful to you. And uh, I'm so grateful, actually, that you mentioned Daniela. I thought of it earlier and I, I, I meant to mention Daniela because Daniela is such um, a, a beautiful spirit and, and so inspiring to all of us and a new addition to Opulence Global and just has just been uh, just fantastic for the field. So I didn't mean to, I, I meant to mention Daniela a while back that got on a tangent. So thanks for mentioning Daniela um, Kelly because she's been amazing for us. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Kelly. And uh, wow, all this inspiration make us want to cry. Shelly, welcome to the call. Another inspiration lady, an excellent leader. Welcome, Shelly. All the way from Winnipeg. Hi, it's, is it me? <laughs> Good to <Yeah>. you. <laughs> welcome to and, the call, Sherilyn. Well, thank you. And yes, it is too early to see anybody's face this morning, <laughs> but I did brush my teeth with my fabulous uh, uh, opulence toothpaste, which is amazing product. And that's why I'm calling to ask you a question. How, my, how important is it, Karen, for us to be the product of the product? Um, oh. I know once you start to use it, you're gonna love it. And I have a small, I have um, uh, an, an incident that keeps occurring, which that's for a head office also to hear. You need to bring back that golden cuff because every time I wear it, somebody wants it off my wrist. I have sold it five times off my wrist from just being a product of the product. So yes. please, what is the importance in the trust in our products and well, 
That's a yeah. really good question. And, you know, um, it goes kind of without saying because, um, you know, number one, from a business standpoint, uh, you know, we've been gifted the opportunity to be able to purchase our own products through our own platform. Why would we want to go out and, and um, buy an inferior product uh, from a store and pay retail when we can we support our own businesses and our own teams and purchase a superior product at wholesale through our own business and then have the experience of it and the testimonial of it to share? Because I know for myself, and I know there's a lot of people on this line, that I cannot speak of something if it is not in my heart. And if, if I don't feel it, I can't speak of it. So to me, um, when I had my first experience with Fountain of Life, I'll be honest with you, when Fountain of Life first came in the bubble wrap, when we first got it, um, I had had an, an interesting experience. I'd been on the Monday night uh, com uh, product call, and I'd heard from David O, or, or I don't know whether it was Sanaz or David O. Anyway, they talked about it reducing old scars and helping with new scars. Well, I had just had an operation. It was the most horrendous experience I can honestly say in my life. Um, I had a, a cancer removed from my face. And what they do is they take about eight or 10 needles and they put it all the way around your face and then they freeze it. And you're awake in the um, operating room and they, they, they start to scratch and pull your skin back and they scratch and they burn out the cancer and you can smell it and you can hear it and you're awake. And then you have this horrendous scar from here down to here uh, with train tracks on it. And as a woman, our faces, we have one face and, and that's why the skin line and, and the FOL is so very important. Um, but anyway, I got out of that um, operation and I had this horrendous scar. Well, I listened to the presentation on the product call. That's why it's so important to be on all of our calls because you learn things. And I would have had no idea that the FOL would have taken that scar completely away, but it did. And, you know, all they give you at the doctor's office is medicated uh, Vaseline, basically. It's not going to take that scar away. So I, as soon as I got the FOL, I started applying it and right away I noticed that the train tracks underneath the scar were diminishing very quickly and then all of a sudden within I don't even know how long but all of a sudden nobody knew I had an operation on my face it was gone so wow. um yeah so that was very important number one that I had the gift of FOL uh right at that timing which was incredible and then my sister ended up having the exact same operation, but it was worse. It was on the other side of her face. They had to cut underneath her eye, which is a very soft tissue, and down here, and they flapped the skin, and then they removed the stuff, and then they put the skin back. So she had a scar from here to here. She came over in tears. She had the same ugly looking scar I had, and we started applying the FOL right away. You cannot tell she's had a surgery. So being a product of the product, for me, it was an absolute blessing that we got FOL when we did. But I must tell you that I, I had that experience, but I needed time to ingest the other experiences that I was having on FOL before I started promoting it. I wanted to make sure that it was everything that I thought it was, and it is. And so now I can't not share it, or I would be doing people a disservice. So... Um, as well as the shampoos. If you take your shampoo bottles and give little samples from the dollar store, those little uh, things, and give somebody a sample of that shampoo, I guarantee you, after one or two uses, they will come back, they will buy that shampoo. I have another story just quickly before we get to this gentleman. Um, yeah, yes, I, because I, we already passed the time. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm much sorry. Yeah, this is the problem. We have to this do it again. Okay. Um, anyway, just quickly, uh, she took our products, all of our product line to um, a, a, a clinician in, in the business that tests products for the quality and tests them. Anyway, our products all tested at close to 100%. So that's just a story that you can feel confident. 
that when you get your own experience and your own story with the products, you will build your business successfully because you will have the confidence to share those products with people. That is why you need to be a product of the product. Sorry, long answer, but that's that's the answer. Anyway, so let's go back to the next question. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Sherilyn. You're amazing. I love you and I'm proud of you. Thank you very much, Sherilyn. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Oh my God. There's so much people wants to share, but at the end of the day, means we will have another like this one. Um, even myself, I, I have a little cold. I catch up yesterday and I've been taking the fountain of life. So many stories. So let us go to our prophet Daniel. He's a newbie too. So welcome yeah. prophet Daniel. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness, Karen, you are amazing. You are amazing and fantastic. Your testimony is a, a, igniting the hearts of many. Uh, to be honest, uh, it is good. We have a saying that if you don't uh, speak out your worries, no one will know the kind of medicine you will need. I tell you the truth, you spoke well and well done. Um, Marianne, she is a great, wonderful uh, woman that I came across. And this lady, oh my goodness, if this lady put her such light on you, you can escape. Yeah. Um, Marianne, we met Marianne in a, a program with one of your members, Dr. Marion in place. Uh, and I was having a council meeting with my council. And Marianne walked in and just broke my meeting into two. And she just spoke about opulence. And everybody stopped the meeting and looked up to Marianne. She brought out of the fountain of life and she put it on our tongue. And we have a warm, the, the, the supplement is powerful. The, and I use it and I said, what a change. My eyes glowed and everything changed. Uh, a friend of mine, Pastor Steve, also have a change. We said, no. What is about this fountain of life? You know, Marian had just a little time that, and it is like a whole novel was read to us. And this, she said, Prophet Daniel, I, I, I would like to know your place. I said, what? She said, we have to talk. She was on me. I was dodging her several times because I have a lot on my plate that I'm doing. And there was a program going on and Marian drove from her house came to pick me when I was using an excuse of a transportation, even though I have my car there. She picked me, picked other people, drove me into the office, introduced me. Now I don't know what to do, I can't breathe. And this lady was so wonderful. And I met amazing people, oh, to be honest. One of the areas of opulence that I just want to make it brief, it's uh, the fashion side that a lot of people uh, do not even think about the fashion. Now, the Opulence Fashion Department has different kind of quality materials, ladies' bag, jewelries, spiracles, bundles, name them. It's a whole warehouse of things. And you know what amazes me? That is the area I look at the marketing aspect. And you know, when you become a member of Opulence, as I was told, you are connected, they will build a website for you, and it is connected to the Opulence Warehouse website. So as much as people who wanted to purchase the product, because you are a full member, and because you are able to traffic a lot of people through your website to that, you are discounted. And this discount goes to your own account that you use it to purchase as much product that you can. And you know, Rainy make an example the last meeting we went. A simple example. She said, we go to the uh, shoppers drop mart. We buy a Pepsodent. Professionally, you don't call names. You buy some Pepsodent and you find fluorine, fluorine in it. And the fluorine gives a problem. And this amount you buy with a Pepsodent, the same Pepsodent, we have the quality one without fluorine in Opulence. And you know one funny thing? You go and buy it in the Shop and Draw Smart or any other company, and you go and use it and it's finished. You don't get anything. 
But when you come to opulence, you buy it, it's healthy, no fear, helps you, and you have discounted that goes to your account. So you are making business within a business. And this touches my heart. And you know, a lot of people that Marianne invited through me and invited, it's absolutely wonderful. This time was when Marianne said, you have to meet Karen. I said, who is this Karen you are saying? It's a prophet? Karen, when you meet Karen in this business opulence to talk to you, <laughs> you'll be amazing. I said, okay, I can't wait. I was counting the calendar, the date, the time. I spoke with Karen. Karen said, I will be coming with my friend Karen. I said, okay, to be honest, we went in our numbers. On that day, Marian was number one client who brought a lot of people on that day. She had an award. Awards was given. And I'm telling you the truth. I'm a pastor. I'm a man of God. I stand in the presence of many people. And I talk about the kingdom of God. And we have been too much spiritual. Sometimes we have to think holistically and think about the flesh aspect. What can the person do to obtain sustenance, to be having the spirit to worship God? And to be honest, when they spoke, one of the opulence things I love, the scientists, the doctors, professional doctors, talking about the uh, fountain of life and other products that are coming up, the scientific knowledge, the research, the investments that they have put into it. Some of the current one that wanted to come out for very soon to come out, it's helping prostrate. And it was one of the champion thing that men are suffering out of prostrate that they cannot talk about it. Fountain of Life and uh, uh, Opulence is coming out with this product to heal and solve problems. To be amazing, I met Karen. And first of all, she's very beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful woman. This woman, if you don't stand well, you fall down. She is very beautiful, beautiful. inside out. Very, very. And golden heart. And what, whatever you see is what it is. There is no any fake Thank about it. Much. Thank you very no much, much, Prophet Daniel. She has heart for people. No matter where, my, uh, no matter where Karen is going, she will have time with you. And you know one funny thing? I came there by the sponsorship of Marianne and I was looking at the people. I said, I wanted to know these people. Karen was able to serve me food, get me drink. Do you want this? Do you want that? And I look at how she was humble. And I said, no, this family, I must join. You see, the character and the behavior of the people will open doors whether you have to join or not, the attitude. And opulence members are very humble, transparent. They are not segregated. They don't, they don't do racism. They accept everybody, no matter how race you are. You are in a family. And the CEO is like a, a, humble, do a humble dove, very humble. And so I joined, I said, this is my family. And to be honest, Karen has spoken much and I really believe in what she has said. And my prayers is to everyone, please be on board. Join because this health system of opulence will make a way. There are so many sickness going on. Look at the COVID. Look at these that are going on. Immune system need. Thank you very much, uh, Prophet Daniel. Thank you. I Thank cannot you believe it. No, the time is short. I remember when you were saying to Karen, the time, the time. <laughs> if you give Prophet Daniel, I will speak my heart out. Thank you very much. Don't worry. I will You're interview you. I have to You're do amazing. the cocktail and we'll interview you. you will, yes. Um, yes. Yes. You have a lot to share, but we appreciate you. I wish we could have more time, but I really want um, one more thing to ask uh, Karen about, uh, because I know what she inspired me and all of you guys. I want to, all of you guys to know about the smart buy, why Karen Henry, she's here and she never let it go, the smart buy, because the way she explained the smart buy and the, the, the behind, you know, a lot of people this oh, why am I paying 150? But 150 is your money. It's like saving in the bank, but it doesn't go to waste. You get 
over and over and beyond, right? But in the bank, you get zero, 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 zero point one, and they make a lot of money. So I want Karen, before we close this call, to say that inspiration, that's how, she, you know, when you have the obstacle, but if you have your smart buy, how can you still be, be there in the company and how, like you're not starting from scratch, you know? This is how beautiful about this company is. So Karen, the floor is yours, and then we're gonna close the call. Well, I think I think a lot of people, thank you, by the way, Prophet Daniel, for all your kind words. That was amazing, and, and you're yes. amazing. And uh, But anyway, getting getting to the smart buy, I think it is really important for people to understand that when we talk about true residual business, okay, that smart buy is your foundation. That is the foundation of the company, really, because the company produces these amazing products. They have created a platform for us. They want it to be completely legitimate and completely, um, we are a, a distribution company. We, we have amazing products that we distribute around the world. And by putting that little bit of money, either 75 or 150 into your own shopping credit, credit account, whether you wanna purchase monthly or whether you wanna just save it month to month to month, let's say there's something special you wanna buy or, I know I go through mine. It's not enough for me every month because I use all of the products, of course. Um, but the one thing that people have to understand is that the, the way Ramin and Sanaz have created this, they want us to be a company representing the product of the product. So they want to make sure that just like Cheryl Lynn said, the importance of using the product. You know, you they want to make sure that you're a product of the product. So you have your experience with it. Even if you turn around and sell that product, you are going to need a minimum of 150 a month. This is a business. This is an international business. 150 a month contribution of your own money to your own account is it's not an expense. It's a it's a just a redirecting of your funds to put towards something that is the whole basis of your business as well is when you think about it, when you've created your team and your umbrella and it's gone to country after country after country and the tracking system that we have just doesn't exist anywhere. It's fully tracking you and tracking everything that everyone is doing. That 150 foundation of each person, whether they're an LA or whether they're a brand partner in your organization, putting that 150 away a month to just use on their own product that they would use anyway, um, gives you your solid residual foundation income. And a lot of companies are not like ours. They, they If you don't do certain things in a month, they wipe your volume or they just wipe your volume every month. Uh, they do not hold the volume like this program does. And that 150 or 75 will ensure that that volume never goes away. So right from the very time you start this business, that volume is saving and holding and building. Even if you're busy with other things or life has gotten in your way, as long as you're on that 150 or that 75, which you need anyway, and it's a tax deduction because it's part of building your business, it's building and growing. Think about this. You have a thousand people in your organization on your left side. You have a thousand people on your right side. They're each contributing 150 a month. Just think of it that way. $150,000 worth of volume every month on both sides of your business going in to generate income for you and everyone up the line. It's the fairest, most incredible compensation plan I have ever seen to date. You will never see another one like it. We're the only compensation plan that will pay you to infinity. All you have to do is use the product and put either um, 75 or 150 aside, whichever. I recommend 150 because you'll need it. Uh, and do that and the company takes care of the rest. It's the foundation of your business and you have to wow. understand it, explain it and teach it. And you will have a solid organization for years and years and years to come. So Karen Henry, the last question I'm going to ask you. From GWT to Opulence Global, your volume, did you ever get flash? Never. 
And that is the power of 150 a month. Never. So even when you took a break. I just want to show you something. Can I show you something? Yes. Yes. This was a, this was a fun thing. When we were at uh, one of the conferences, I can't, well, it was 2013 because it's on here. Uh, the CEO did a fun little experiment and uh, uh, they had us come up to the front of the room of the people uh, of what volume was moving through our organization. So they made these checks. Okay. And I'll just, I, I got to get far enough back. So this is an example. This was GWT at the time and it was 2013. And this volume, if you can see it, I think it's 1,682,314.01. Yeah. Can have both legs, just imagine. Yes, had, had gone through my business center at that point in time, 2013. Well, now it's 2022. So you can imagine the volume that's gone through since. But, um, you know, it's just that volume <laughs> is your money in the bank. And all you have to do is do use your product, which is what you should be doing anyway. I, so um, that's the significance of it in a nutshell. I've never missed a, a check. I've never missed a volume because I've always stayed consistent. And oh, I get fun. my product. By the way, I just want to shout out that Kelly just gave me this beautiful little pen, love pendant for my birthday. And she surprised me with it the other night. And I just absolutely love it. And uh, anyway, and that's the beauty as well. You can wow. save your IA and you can use it for gifts. I mean, who doesn't want to get a gorgeous pendant for their birthday if they're a girl? Yeah. I'm telling you, we went yeah. over 33 minutes, guys, and nobody wants to leave. We need okay. to. <laughs> I'm so sorry we're over time. Um, but yes. thank you to but, everyone. Uh, Thank you very much. And uh, for closing notes, the CEO, because of that smart buy, the CEO, we have a secret box. So he, all the money you've been accumulating, go order now, you get double. Like the gifts you're getting, the things you're going to be getting, I'm telling you, it's unbelievable. So it's like an early gift for December. Early Christmas. So go to your back office. Yes, everybody. And look at the bill. Shop, 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 shop. Thank you to and our amazing CEO. He's always giving. He's always giving. Thank you very much for everyone to be on this call. Oh my God, the room is still packed and we appreciate it for your beautiful time. Can you believe I got a call yesterday because I was at a women national show, but I did not want to miss this call. I've been taking my fountain of life. Even that's why I got my voice back. So please be a product of a product. Believe in the person who, believe, who brought you to this company and go invite, invite. A lot of people need us. This company is it. And yeah. this company is the one keep like people like Karen Henry from 2008 up to today, me 2006 up to today. And I'm still happy looking young and wearing all my bling and I get paid for it. So we call it vacation. Thank you very much to be on this call. See you next time. Mwah, mwah. So don't miss all the calls. Don't miss the corporate calls, right? All the calls, you're learning something. Thank you. God bless you all for being God here. God bless everyone. And thank you all for coming. It was great. I had so much fun. Thank you, Miriam. I love you. God bless everyone.